Hey, welcome back. We discussed starting with the end in mind. And what we see in starting the first few days, weeks, are often not the hard. We're in this infatuation phase where motivation and drive are high and it often gives us energy. But what happens after these four weeks? When it gets too cold outside to wake up early and train? Or in week six when that birthday cake is placed on the table? This is where we need a plan. And in this video, we'll look at the three things that we need to create this plan. Episode three, let's go. You know, it's unrealistic to think that progress moves in a linear fashion, it'll go straight up. So what we need to do is be aware of halting hurdles or obstacles that may come in our way when we're achieving goals. So what we do here is develop a crisis plan. The crisis plan or contingency plan starts with identifying all of the potential mishaps that could occur. Waking up too early, work interfering, just not having enough time. Once our clients go through this process, they are able to identify things in advance so that they know what to do when these things occur. You know what's gonna happen, this situation occurs, and you're able to navigate through it with ease. The key thing here is to write it down and use it when you need to. Understanding how triggers work can also help you to form or break habits faster. A trigger is an external event or circumstance that produces a specific response. Like when you never eat popcorn unless you go to the movie theater. A plan to change a behavior into a habit uses the power of triggers. You can do this by linking the new habit to a daily event. Let's say that for a certain goal, your new desired behavior should be drinking more water. Link drinking water to sending an email. That means that pressing send becomes the trigger to the new behavior. Linking habits to an event accelerates the automation of that habit. Creating a habit schedule is a cool way to track your accountability. A habit schedule is fun and it's also motivational. My clients find that by having one, they're more successful. So let's say your goal is to run 20 minutes, three days a week. We tick off each time that we are participating in that habit. And this is done over the course of a month. At the very end, you're able to write down a reward to give yourself at the end of that four week time period. The reward is something very small and personal to you. Once you complete four weeks, the reward is yours. However, let's say you miss a day. No worries. If you miss a day, you simply go to the next month and start again to keep moving toward your goal. Checking the boxes holds us accountable. And we know based upon the research that when a small reward is given, the more success that a person has with less dropout rates. Uh, let me tell you about my crisis plan as an amateur boxer, Emmy for the Olympics. So usually the training is the easiest part for me because I just love that. The hardest part, it's when I have to cut weight to make it to the fight. I box in light every weight, so I have to make it under 91 kilo and I'm usually 105. So that's mean sometime running on an empty stomach and just eating an apple and a protein shake. So when my motivation gets down and I have less sleep and less energy, my crazy plan when things get hard, I have two things. The first thing I do is that I visualize what it would feel like to achieve that goal. And I really stick to that feeling and it's really helped me, it's really drive me to keep the training and stick to the plan. And the second thing I do is that I always imagine my son and I always wonder what they would say about me. So these two things really help me stick to the plan when things get tough. We already knew that failing to plan is planning to fail. Having a crisis plan, linking the new behavior to a daily event, and having a habit schedule sets us up with a strong plan. 
In the last episode of this series, we look at willpower, how this can change from day to day, and what we can do to boost it when needed. For now, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.